Wait, it's here, Brian. We actually found it here, Brian. A lot of Minecraft players try to fake their speedruns, and it's hilarious. So here are the top 10 funniest fake Minecraft speedruns ever made. Our first speedrun of the day starts off with our speedrunner literally spawning on a diamond block. And when he turns around, he is looking directly at a village. This is getting weird. Our speedrunner then decides to loot the village by collecting some beds and opening some chests, and then decides to search for a ruined portal. But on the way, our speedrunner falls into a random hole that just so happens to contain a nether portal. I can't make this up. Once in the nether, our speedrunner travels and finds a stronghold. But wait, why is he in creative mode? And why is there a chest with a perfect amount of blaze rods waiting for him? This has to be fake. He then makes his way over to a bastion to try to find some ender pearls, but he decides to fake this as well. Our speedrunner stops and faces a random block. He then cuts the video, and when he returns, there's a stack of ender pearls waiting for him. And he also spots a random nether portal floating in midair. He makes his way into the nether portal and is finally back in the overworld. But our speedrunner gets so bored that he simply teleports straight to the stronghold using a simple command. He fills the ender portal with eyes of ender and he is now in the end. And he decides to change his game mode to creative and build one of the most overpowered swords using anvil and a sharpness 5 book. And after flying around to break all the end crystals with creative mode, he can easily kill the dragon with his OP sword. This speedrun was hilarious. Luckily, this next fake speedrun is the most normal one we've seen so far in this video. The run begins and immediately our speedrunner goes and breaks wood, creates himself a crafting table, and makes himself some tools. He turns around and happens to be right next to a village, which is kind of suspicious. However, the speedrunner simply breaks and collects beds in the village, and none of the chests have any any weird loot, so so far it seems real. Later, the speedrunner types in chat and mentions that they must use the bathroom. But when the video resumes, the speedrunner is suddenly in the nether, which is definitely the first obvious fake part of this video. And how is the speedrunner in creative mode? Once he sees that he's in creative mode, he explains that it must have been a glitch and he takes advantage of it by teleporting to both the nether fortress for blaze rods and the bastion to collect ender pearls. This guy is in insane. So now it's time to head back to the overworld. So the speedrunner returns and enters a nether portal. But when he spawns back into the overworld, he's suddenly right next to a stronghold, which is incredibly rare. He then changes his game mode to spectator, which is definitely not allowed in search of the end portal. And once he finds it, he puts in the eyes of Ender and is already headed towards the end. I think at this point, the speedrunner gives up on trying to make the speedrun look real and instead just flies around around in the end, creates an enchanted netherite sword, and kills the ender dragon with his pure force. After a while, he finally succeeds and the dragon is dead, and the speedrunner jumps in to celebrate. While the speedrunner is fake, you can't lie that it was incredibly funny and hilarious. Our next speedrunner wastes no time in revealing that the run is fake. As soon as he loads into the world, he spawns directly in front of a ruined portal, and inside the chest is some of the craziest loot I have ever seen. He's only 15 seconds into the run. After that, he randomly decides to fight zombies next to him, and don't worry, he's not gonna die. Just look at the armor he has. Eventually, he decides to take a trip over to the nether. But wait, why is he going back into the portal so soon? And how is he in the end? If you didn't catch that, it was a different nether portal than the one before, so it took him straight to the end. Once at the end, he builds up to each tower to break all the crystals. Then he just gets bored and hits them with his incredibly overpowered sword. While fake, this speedrun was hilarious. Next big speedrun is probably the funniest one we've seen yet. The run starts off with our speedrunner spawning directly into a village. And right off the bat, our speedrunner finds a netherite tree. This definitely does not exist in real Minecraft. Our speedrunner then decides to loot the village to collect some new items. However, he just decides to mine the netherite tree instead. After collecting the loot from the tree, our speedrunner decides to wander off into a cave and then falls into a random diamond room that just so happens to have his friend waiting for him. As you would expect, this guy gives him some insane gear and armor, and is definitely not allowed in a normal Minecraft speedrun. After that, our speedrunner returns back to the surface and finds this incredibly weird nether portal in the middle of the village. And when he spawns,
spawns into the nether, there just so happens to be an end portal waiting for him. He jumps into the end portal, and what do you know? His friend is back. He then changes his game mode to creative... But wait, our speedrunner actually dies. And instead of finishing off the speedrun, the speedrun just ends like that. Our speedrunner didn't even kill the Ender Dragon. Count how many fake things you can spot in this next speedrun. The run begins and immediately our speedrunner spawns into a village and finds 64 god apples and full netherite armor in his very first chest. After that, he goes into another part of the village and this time finds even more overpowered loot, including potions, obsidian, and flint and steel and he even finds a random diamond tree those aren't even real in minecraft he now makes his way into the nether by building and lighting a nether portal but he stumbles upon a random hole known as the hoggin hole which is apparently a new feature added by notch and after opening the chest in this random hole our speedrun miraculously has full blaze rods and eyes of ender and he's now ready to travel to the overworlds there's no way this is real once in the overworld our speedrunner gets so bored that he teleports himself to the strongholds and once in the strongholds our speedrunner finds the most cursed end portal i've probably ever seen like bro what even is this i guess it kind of worked though because he finally reaches the nether and kills the ender dragon by flying around and using creative mode this guy could not stop cheating in the speedrun now this next speedrun might be one of the funniest i've ever seen like the first two this one's starts out pretty normally and our speedrunner runs to collect some wood but he decides to break this random block and guess what happens to be under a chest with an insane amount of diamonds and iron Anyway, we can look past it as our speedrunner is making his way over to a village. He even starts to break beds, which seems pretty legit. Now, after the village, our speedrunner decides to dig straight down and then lands in a room with an underground ruin portal. Okay, wait, is this even possible? With some creative mode shenanigans out of the way, our speedrunner is somehow in the nether and things get intense when he has to fight some blazes. Oops, yeah, I don't think this guy was supposed to die. Not to fear, because our speedrunner spawns back in and is suddenly in the stronghold what is going on after some more searching he reaches the end portal and is in the end now i'm so confused the speedrunner decides to use the bed strategy to kill the ender dragon and it actually worked so congrats with that just not on any of the other cheating you did in the speedrun our next speedrunner likely begins in a much more normal world wait never mind this guy literally finds a pyramid and a ruined portal right next to where he spawns and when he loots the chest in the pyramid he finds some pretty good loot. The speedrunner decides to leave the temple and take a detour into a nearby cave and actually manages to find a mine shaft and there's a really weird pickaxe inside the chest. Moving along in the speedrun, he finally makes his way into the nether. And once he spawns into the nether, he immediately finds a bastion, which seems a bit suspicious. And using the gold, he is able to get some incredibly overpowered piglin trades. He then focuses on collecting blaze rods, so he travels around more and finally finds a fortress. In the fortress, our speedrunner begins to kill blazes and also gets some incredibly lucky drops. This is getting a bit too fake. It's now time for the speedrunner to head back to the overworld, but he has a trick up his sleeve. He specifically selects a spot in the nether to build his portal because when he spawns back to the overworld, he is directly over the strongholds. No, like seriously, this guy actually spawned right above the stronghold. He fills in the end portal, makes his way to the end with his overpowered loot, and then finally manages to kill the ender dragon. Even though this one was fake, it was extremely hilarious, so I give it a pass. Finally seemed to have a normal speed run as his next speed speedrun begins by chopping some wood. After he collects the materials, he creates a wooden set of tools to use later in the run, and then hops in the ocean to hunt for some fish. Wait, what is that secret passageway there for? And why is there a chest with extremely overpowered gear? This guy got full netherite armor from an underwater chest. He then makes his way to the nether via a randomly placed nether portal, and then spawns near a pillar with a very interesting sign on it. That leads him to dig down into a chest with 64 blaze rods. He then takes a random ice bridge he probably made earlier on the run and into a fully built nether portal. When he spawns back into the overworld, he has all of the items that he needs. 
So he begins his search to find the stronghold. Okay, wait, why is this guy going into creative mode? Oh, he's giving himself 64 eyes of ender to find the stronghold. But wait, what is that random stone pillar doing in the middle of the desert? There's no way, it leads straight to the end portal? This speedrun is insane! Once our speedrunner reaches the end, he simply changes his game mode to creative, flies around like the previous speedrunner in this video, and kills the ender dragon using his netherite sword. If you thought those speedruns were hilariously fake, take a look at this one! The run begins and our speedrunner finds a random chest placed into a cave, and it happens to have some pretty suspicious loot hiding inside. But wait, why is this guy breaking the chest? Wait, he's now in water, and is looting one of the most overpowered chests I've ever seen. After collecting his newly found gear, it's time for our runner to search for the stronghold. He begins by throwing his eyes of Ender into the air, but to no luck, he just decides to dig straight down in a random spot. Definitely something you shouldn't do in Minecraft. After digging for what feels like an hour, the speedrunner is now miraculously in the stronghold, and the end portal has only two eyes missing, which has a one in a trillion chance of happening. After reaching the end, our speedrunner somehow only has a classic bow and some iron bars. But it doesn't stop him from flying around and breaking all of the crystals. But then he gets tired and uses a command to kill the ender dragon. I would definitely not want to speedrun Minecraft with this guy. Now the next speedrun we're going to be taking a look at is probably the weirdest of them all. And that is because this speedrunner doesn't try to hide anything that he does. And let me tell you, he does a lot of fake things that don't really make sense. Anyway, the run begins and we're already off to a bad start. In the bottom left corner, you can clearly see see a message saying that he set his game mode to survival, implying that before he started recording, he was indeed in creative. Oh, and also, just look at the chat, I mean, he's not trying to hide anything at all. Anyway, he makes it to a desert temple and somehow already has insane gear in his inventory, and he even has three potion effects on. Like, bro, the speedrun just started. He then proceeds to enchant all of his armor, which is almost never done in a real speedrun, especially at the slow pace that he's doing it at. Now, after running a few more commands, he finds himself already in the end, and things start to get even weirder. To begin, he starts to fly around and break all of the crystals, then goes down to the center and just starts placing down an insert amount of TNT which is honestly completely unnecessary. To top it all off, he gives himself an insane strength effect that can most likely obliterate the dragon. And yeah, the dragon stood no chance against his speedrun cheats. Now, technically, this run could be considered over, but our speedrunner friend still wants to have some fun. So he just randomly spawns in a wither and tries to fight it. And the cherry on top of this entire speedrun is that even after we saw all of the cheats that he did, he makes sure to change his game mode back to survival before he finishes. I mean, what a great speedrun, but unfortunately, yeah, this speedrun was fake.